No, I was just going to ask if you heard what uh, Florence Henderson said. Uh, that she had, uh, yeah, I did hear that. She, I, I didn't hear her say it. Well, she put out a, a book, I guess, and she was in uh, doing interviews yesterday, yesterday afternoon at like 2.30 or something. But for some reason, at her age, she can't just kind of fade off into obscurity and, and be a TV legend. She wants everybody to know everything. And Florence Henderson said that when she was younger, she had a case of crabs. <laughs> so she got, then, and she got it from some politician, like I think. One, that was really... Somebody running for mayor, I well, think. Well, we know who she didn't get it from. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, but I mean, what would possess you at this point in your life to be like, you know what? I need to tell the world that I one time had a case of crabs. To sell books because there's nothing else to talk about. You always got to reveal something yeah. to get people to talk about your book. We're all talking about Florence Henderson. There's got to be one quote. I got to buy this book. And then you buy the book and realize the only interesting thing in the entire book yeah. is that one time she had crabs. You realize how boring chapters are like, California, here I come, yeah. <laughs> with an exclamation point. It's about her shitty trip to California. Isn't it called Brady Secrets or something? Ugh. You know what the book is called? Life is not a stage. Oh, maybe that's a chapter or something. Oh. Life is not a stage. Sometimes no. you get crabs. Sometimes, <laughs> yes. sometimes you let a donkey fuck you in your private life. <laughs> yes. Not necessarily just in front of people in Tijuana. She just wanted to cash in on everybody thinking of wholesome Mrs. Brady fucking some guy, <laughs> giving her crabs. At least that's a juicy tidbit. I hate these fucking Brady books because none of them ever reveal anything. Yeah. Oh, Mike Lookendlin revealed that one time uh, Robert Reed said shit because his coffee spilled. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He cussed. Ooh. Or the Saved by the Bell tell all that stupid screech came out. It was just lies. Like He wrote like Zach and Kelly was in a threesome with the show producer, and Slater used to hook up with, like, and then, you know, Lisa would fuck everybody on staff. And, he, like, there's this whole list of things that Screech, I mean, they had to be made up because nobody gave them any credibility. I kind of like the fact that at least he wrote interesting stuff, though. If you're going to lie, make it good. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. She said she woke up to little black things crawling over her bed and body. It's Anthony's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Henderson immediately went to a doctor who helped her get rid of the creepy crawlers. And, uh, the creepy and, crawlers? Well, that's, that's like, you know. I have creepy crawlers on my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Please Sorry. isolate that, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Lindsay, the, the mayor's name was John Lindsay. Uh, what was he the mayor of? Um, he was... Crab Town or something, right, Travis? <laughs> no, no, New York City. I anybody laugh at that. John, Lin the, wait, the mayor of New York gave her crabs? John Lindsay, Jesus, former, that mayor, Lindsay? former mayor of That's New York City. That's a pretty good fucking it's story. It's a nice little tidbit. 66 to 73. Wow. Mike, so you... Mike Bloomberg got my ass hairs greasy. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but this guy gave her... This guy gave her... You put a pedestrian plaza in your asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he put potted plants on my balls. <laughs> Theo LaGuardia made my... My cock swell. <laughs> he stepped on it with the heel of his lifts. <laughs> Is Lindsay still alive? Uh, no, Lindsay died in 2000. Oh, so he what? went from Age. 70. <laughs> and gosh, noshed on her pussy. <laughs> he went from 73 to 2000 thinking, oh, nobody's ever going to find out about it. And then Florence Henderson has to embarrass the rest of his surviving family <laughs> yeah. by He's... announcing he had crabs and gave it to her. <laughs> he sent her flowers and an apology letter. Oh, he <laughs> knew. That's hilarious. Got Sorry, the mint cotch. The Sorry, babe. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they made that Brady Bunch tinkle noise yeah. <laughs> when they walked on her pussy. <laughs> Have you you never had crabs? Have you? You've I've had it three times. You have? Oh. Yes, of course. Because Ron Jeremy always said that's the only STD that he ever got. Yeah. Is crabs. Because I remember you saying that as much as you uh, have uh, had sex with hookers with no condoms. Yeah. Crabs is the only thing you've gotten. Uh, crabs I got three times, twice from the same girl in a week. <laughs> this black girl I fucked when I was Wait, 19. But to get crabs twice in a week, that means you have to be cured and then get them again. Yeah. She wasn't really. Uh, I knew I had them. I felt them the next day. Like, I felt something, and I looked down. And it's really a violating feeling when there's insects on your pubes. Because I have awful straight pubes, like a Chinese man's hair. Yeah. My pubes are an abomination. And, so you, I, and you can see them. Of course you can. They're black. The you pull it off, and the little legs were going. Wrong uh, <laughs> one. Boom. Yeah. Those little tinkle toes. No. Um, so I pulled the crab off, and I went and got rid medication. Which is, uh, it's like a weird shampoo, and you have to run this comb through your balls to get the nits and eggs. <laughs> oh. And you have to hot... They're laying eggs in your pubes? You have to hot wash everything really hot. And they, there was no recurrence, but a week later, I fucked the same girl again. 
I had a feeling she gave them to me, but I was. was it, I had a feeling. I wasn't. A, I wasn't a pussy getter at nineteen. <laughs> so you're like, well, I'll just use the shampoo again. <laughs> but I went home. It's amazing. My dick stayed hard for that. I really was a trooper when I was nineteen. Yeah. And I went home and I saw one of my pubes. But I already had the. I already had. So I'm like, okay, it was her, um, who gave That's, them to me. You're like, you're like, look, it's probably her. That makes the most sense. But I'm not going to jump to conclusions. Let me do a little investigation. Let me fuck her again and see if I can reinfect <laughs> and cured yourself of crabs. And then you just went and caught them immediately again. But, I, but it wasn't bad the next time because I just fucking I hopped right in the shower with the shampoo and the and, and I was gone. And then years later, maybe four or five years later, this girl I was dating shaved her pubic hair. So I think she cheated on me and got them. Yeah. And then I wound up getting them. But I was I think I was just starting stand up, so I was like, it might have been from a hotel or something or. She didn't know uh, where she got them. Hotel? She cheated on me, I think, and got I think, them. I, I bet she did. Which is fine. Um, well, at this point, I think you're probably moving past over it. it. And that's why I fucking, I like that uh, all chicks should shave their pussies. Well, I was going to say that if you just shave your pubes, yeah. would, you'd get rid of them, right? Yeah. So you would you have to shave it. No, they could be in your ass hair or your legs oh, yeah, or your yeah, fucking so. eyebrows. Did you ever right. get crabs? No, no. Oh, okay. But but I love always, you too. And that, that beard. <laughs> How great <laughs> would that be? That's something that I was thinking of because I mean you could shave your pews and balls and stuff. But I mean you know a lot of people have body oh, hair they, that's I'm sure perfectly capable for crabs to live in. Yeah. Into your ass and nipples. I hate to be Greek and have crabs in my back hair. <laughs> how fucking awful. You know how much fucking like uh, Egyptians and Palestinians uh. must hate crabs. I don't know if they're hairy or not. Some Egyptian will call it. I'm as smooth as butter. <laughs> <laughs> See, does that mean Florence Henderson? <laughs> to take Raid shampoo. Rid. Rid uh, Raid. Rid should be Raid. It's bug spray. I'll bet you she has really long ass hair. And she had to comb it out. She had to comb it out. Eve Plum had to come in and trim her asshole hair. Oh. And Ann B. Davis yanked them out and fed them to Sam. <laughs> That's the sound of the dead crabs hitting the toilet. Yeah. And she punched herself in the pussy. <laughs> Yeah, that's them marching off her clit into the toilet. And their dad had to sit the kids down and explain to them, your mom has yes, crabs. Yes, yes. Well, Sometimes. you remember that free trip to New York we all took? Well, that didn't come without a price. <laughs> yeah, luckily, I don't mind if your mom cheats on me. <laughs> exactly, because he <laughs> fucked me in the ass, too. Yeah. So uh, your mom has crabs in her vagina. <laughs> mine are in my ass. Yes, and mine are in my poofy perm. <laughs> yeah. Just my hair that was amazing in roots. Do they crawl up your whole body? I imagine if enough time goes by... Like if you don't wash? You can get them everywhere. If like, you... If you, but you'd notice, I guess, right away. But if you just kind of pretended they weren't there and you just showered regularly, no way, you wouldn't get rid of them. No, because they they burrow into your balls like. Oh. <laughs> but you can pull them out like they, they they're like, not like little ticks. They're or not something? like ticks. No, I think they come out. I remember pulling one out, and I'll never forget the legs going and pulling one off my pubes, Ugh. and it was fucking violating, man. Yeah, because you have little bugs just crawling on you. They must feel like they're inside you. But they're not. To me, they're they're not nearly as bad as like bed bugs would be, because crabs are get rid of uh -huh. Like all you gotta do is throw out your fucking sheets, or like they're not gonna infect your whole house like like fleas or nits. But they're even, just gross. Even like I feel even when you put new sheets on your bed, don't you just feel like they're there still? I don't remember. I think I just really hot hot washing my sheets were okay. Bed bugs would freak me out a lot more. What about lice? Never had them. But again, kids would get them in school. Yeah. But my, uh, my sister had lice when she was a kid because she had hair that was long enough to like sit on. Ugh. So she had really long hair and she ended up getting lice when she was like in second grade or first grade or whatever. And the whole house was just covered in plastic. She had she ended up cutting all of her hair off. Yeah. Fucking lice are awful. You just don't want them. But I, crabs are worse. No, I think lice are worse because uh, lice are uh, I think don't lice jump. Yes. Lice jump. Crabs don't. Crabs just grab onto your balls and drink. <laughs> <laughs> crabs are like actually good chicks. Somebody see, are crabs just lice that live in your pu- Like, do lice travel off your head? I guess. I mean, I, I don't think it's a hobby. <laughs> like, oh, it's going down yeah. there. Yeah, they'll pack and leave your cock to go somewhere for a weekend. <laughs> going up north yes, for the vacation. Yes, we're vacationing in Bob's asshole. Oh. I just pictured <laughs> crabs in Danny's beard. I, I just can't stop thinking about it. Crawling up his chest. And up his neck hair and into his beard. And he just keeps itching while he's trying to talk. He's doing, he's doing show prep in the office without yeah. realizing there's little bugs falling out of his yeah, beard. they're fucking getting stuck in the phone as he talks. If, if he had crabs in here, if anybody had crabs in here, and they fell out of his beard, like onto his keyboard, 
Would we be in danger of crabs for sharing an office? Nah, I don't think so. You'd see them. I, I, you can get them from a toilet, though, I think. I've heard that, yeah. I had, how, where do they live off of, though? I mean, if there's someone before you, use it right before you. I imagine the porcelain is hard for the little guys to hold on to because they're like skin and hair. Do they hurt when they bite? No. They just tickle because their, t- their little feet are going like <laughs> ee, lee, 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 on your balls. You feel it? Of course. Oh. That's how I knew I had them. You itch. And you can, like, like you're scratching because they're walking. You feel like there's bugs moving on your groin. Yeah. And then you look down and see you can there see are them. bugs moving A on your groin. A lot of times groin. you'll see them and they're in the very base of your where they are is where the hair meets your skin. Oh. And you'll see a black bump and you're not sure if it's just a, a hair bump and you pull it out and you go, oh, no. Real quick before we sure. move fully on from crabs. Yes. Uh, a couple of people wanted to share their oh, good. stories. Uh, Gordon in South Carolina. Hey. How no, are you guys? <laughs> yeah. yes. Jimmy, like you, I was 19 when I first got crabs. Unfortunately, however, it was my first time having sex. Uh, I actually lost my virginity and got crabs in return. <sighs> and uh, I was still living at home with my parents, so I and I didn't have any money. But we, I found some dog shampoo, flea and tick shampoo, under the sink in the bathroom. And uh, believe it or not, it actually worked, and I got rid of the crabs using dog shampoo. Wow. My only. Yeah. Let that be a lesson to all of you out there with crabs. 